by Helgo Schutz, a great century by Stephen Baard, led Namibia to a three wicket victory against Free State in their CSA One Day Challenge on Sunday. After restricting Free State to 222 for six wickets off their 50 overs, Namibia reached 224 for seven wickets with five balls to spare. Baard led the way with a fine century, scoring 112 off 148 balls, which included two sixes and four fours. Namibia got an early breakthrough in Free State's innings when J.J. Smith dismissed Pablo Mogherera for six, but the rest of their top order all chipped in with valuable contributions. Carabo Mogat C scored 38, Andres goes 44, Pike van Bilhon 25, Patrick Bota 22, Romano Tablanche 27 and Delivio Ridgard 39 not out as Free State reached 222 for six wickets off their 50 overs. For Namibia, Jan Freilink took two wickets for 36 runs off eight overs, and Craig Williams two 44ths off ten overs. In Namibia's innings, Free State pace bowler Korn Dry made an early breakthrough when he dismissed Lohan Lawrence, 18, and Carl Birkenstock, 0, within four balls to peg Namibia back at 24 for two wickets. Michaud Dupriez, however, joined BAARD to put Namibia back on track with a 66-run partnership for the third wicket before Dupriez was dismissed for 32. Craig Williams and captain Sarel Berger, who were both playing in the last match for Namibia, contributed 23 and 10 runs respectively, but they all played a supporting role to BAARD, who put Namibia in charge with a perfectly paced innings. By the time he was out for 112, Namibia were only six runs away from victory with eight balls remaining, and J.J. Smith went on to score the winning runs with a four off the final over. Dry was Free State's best bowler, taking three wickets for 36 runs off 10 overs. After the match, Berger said it was a great way to end his career. It's been a long run, I think 16 years, but it couldn't have ended in a better way. I'm really proud of the guys, with what we've achieved over the past two years and how we have turned things around. I'm really pleased with the guys today, and especially the way Stevie batted with a great century, so it's a great way to end a career like that, he said. It's been a great privilege to have represented my country, but there's a new chapter opening up. I think there's a new path going forward for the youngsters, and I'm very happy with the way they've come through the system. I'll miss the game, but it's time to move on and I'm glad I could have ended it like I did today, he said. Williams concurred, saying it was a nice way to end his career off. It's a nice way to end my career off with a good win against a very strong free state team so I'm very happy, he said. It makes it easier to leave now, considering how much talent we have amongst our youngsters and the size of our squad which is coming through now, so I think I am leaving the game with a clear mind, knowing that the guys will do well and take us forward, he said.